This week on Maker Monday, join us as we recognize Hanalise Whistler, a local talent who specializes in the ancient art of henna tattooing. My name is Hanalise Whistler and I'm a henna tattoo artist and I'm a maker in our community. Hanalise graciously welcomed us into her home and we are able to see the beautiful and eclectic space that she created for herself in the Second Street Artist Lofts. Her space perfectly reflects not only her own artistic nature and creativity, but also showcases the work of other outstanding artists. I make the henna paste. Um, I usually just order the henna leaves online because um, the henna leaves have a pigment in it called Lawsome, and it's actually the staining component in the henna, if you will. Um, and I order the henna leaves online, and then I mix that with lemon juice and sugar and tea and a little bit of essential oils. And with that paste, I can then draw on designs onto people. And then once that paste dries and falls off, then that stain is left behind. So the first thing I do is I take like an alcohol wipe and I just like rub it all over where the henna tattoo is going to be because it's it'll be hard for it to stick if someone has like lotion on or uh, dirt anything really so just get it all nice and clean first and then make sure my little thing is working oops An interesting fact, henna grows best in a tropical dry climate and in well-drained soils, which is why henna lease orders the leaves online. But also, henna is not just used to dye the skin. According to henna lease, it actually can be used to dye hair, fabrics, and it's sometimes used as a natural sunscreen and many more fascinating applications. Once this design is drawn on with the wet henna paste, um, it'll take it about 30 minutes to dry and this paste will get really crackly and dried up and it'll just start falling off on its own. And once this falls off, that stain will be left behind. And it usually takes 24 hours to oxidize, so tomorrow at this time, it will be at its darkest point. So um, why henna tattoos? Um, I've always been one of those kids in school who would always draw on themselves 
and I've always been creative and artistic and I liked the idea of tattooing but not necessarily the pain or commitment part of it so um, that's when I discovered henna tattoos to be um, kind of a transition into tattooing but temporary and safe and fun for kids also. Um, I think it's uh, awesome for me to be, to be able to do henna tattoos because it's a way I can connect to the community and it's a way that someone can um, take their art or take my artwork home with them. Um, like when I, I mean it's one thing to like go into a gallery and see like beautiful pieces of artwork but they're usually like $200, you know, pretty pricey. Um, with my form of artwork, I can set up and I can give someone a piece of artwork on their hand that they can take home with them and it'll last for two weeks for much cheaper than a studio artist, if you will. Um, it's also good um, if someone is thinking about getting a tattoo and they're not quite sure of the placement or how they want it, so getting a henna tattoo is nice as like a, a start if you're thinking about getting a real one. According to Annalise, her favorite part of henna tattooing is the excitement that people exhibit at being able to have a henna tattoo done. She just loves to work with that positive energy and also being able to be involved in the community and community hosted events. Her passion can be clearly seen in her previous work. If you would like to get in contact with Annalise for a private session, you can reach out to her by phone, email, or her Instagram page. Stay tuned though, Hanalise hopes to be able to open up a walk-in studio space in the ACE 40.8 Artist Gallery in the near future, as well as hoping to be present in a variety of Decatur's future community events.